Hi, I'm Mark Manis, Director of Instruction at the Golf Center at the Highlands, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about putting. In particular, putting in the conditions we see in January here in Texas. I'm on a Champion Bermuda putting green, which is dormant. Don't adjust your camera, don't adjust your screen. It's brown for a reason. The Bermuda grass is dormant. What's that mean? It's not growing. If it's not growing, they're still running mowers over it to mow off some of the spike marks that we see on the green, some of the imperfections. That means they're getting firmer. There's less grass. As it goes dormant, that grass lays down. The greens are getting faster. Most people struggle this time of year because of that. But I'm here to tell you this is a great time of year to fix the problem that you actually have year-round in your putting that really gets shown here. Here's what we need to learn. Putting is pendulum-like. This is what your putter should be doing. Swinging like a pendulum. Why do I like it so much? Pendulum always accelerates at the same rate. Gravity. Number two, it swings back and forth about the same length. I love that. That's a simple motion. It's never forced. I think there's more control when there's less force. So if I'm going to do that, what do I really work on here? So let me hit a couple of four-footers. First, I'm going to hit one like most amateurs putt. I'm going to get up here. I'm going to make a swing, and the swing's going to go back kind of short and go through kind of long. That's what we call a poppy or hitty stroke. That ball went well past the hole. And frankly, as funny as that looked to hit it that far, I see that a lot this time of year when I'm out on the golf course. Not for me, from my playing partners. Here's what I think it ought to look like. It ought to be pendulum-like. Watch the motion again. The putter went back and through about the same amount. That's what a pendulum looks like. I didn't force the putter through. It wasn't swung quickly. It was swung smoothly. I let the putter hit the ball. That's what putting's about. Let the momentum of the putter hit the ball and transfer its energy to the ball and the ball will go. So how do I fix this hitty poppy putting stroke? It's simple. You make yourself this real expensive training aid. It's a ball on a string. About two feet of string, an eye hook, screw the eye hook into the ball. That'll be the hardest thing you do here. Next, wrap a little bit of the string around your fingers of your lower hand. If you cross-handed grip, it'd be your left. If you grip it normally, it'll be your right. Take your normal grip, set up, and start making some swings. Go forward first. See if you can make the ball and the club stay together. We don't want to see that type of motion. I see a lot of people, if they're truly making their putting stroke, the first time they do this, we see this. You see how the club left the ball back there? That's a hit. That's force. That's extra effort. It's unnecessary to make the ball go. I'm not suggesting that your arms aren't going to move, and I think a lot of people are afraid they're going to quit following through. That's not the truth. What did I say about a pendulum? You're only hitting a 1.62 ounce ball with a club that weighs just under a pound. It's going to follow through if you let it. You don't need to make it. You need to get on the putting green. You need to get this real expensive training aid and do a little practice. And I bet you can create a pendulum like swing. Last note. What if I'm hitting it 30 feet? You may say, well, that's great if I'm inside 15 feet. Well, how do I make it go 30 feet? You make more swing. It's not that I have to get carried away. That ball rolled at least 30 feet. If I need to make it go farther, which sometimes I do, I make more swing. It's not a challenge. It's fairly simple. The fact is, many of you are afraid to do it because the mechanics of your stroke get the putter face in a wild position when you do that. Well, this is a good opportunity to learn how to fix those flaws. Because I promise you, just because you're taking it back shorter doesn't mean you don't have those flaws. Get to the putting green, get your ball on a string, 
and practice making some pendulum-like strokes and see if we can't get better this winter. I know this is going to help you.